Good morning, good evening, and good day. Thank you so much for watching Attack Power Gaming. Today we have a very special guest, the one, the only, the Vulcan HD Gaming. Say hello. Hi, guys. I did. This is uh, really exciting. So Vulcan and I have decided to play a little bit of 1v1. Now, Vulcan is a legendary 10v10 player and has not played 1v1 since when was the last time, Vulcan? Uh, probably be up against Gonzo on one of the DLCs, so at least like a year or maybe longer. <laughs> Perfect. That means I may have a chance. This is very exciting. So he, it's been so long, he actually ha doesn't even have a 1v1 deck. So what we're going to do here today in this video is build a 1v1 deck together with Vulcan, uh, kind of working together to basically beat myself, I guess, at the end of the day will be the goal here. So Yeah, it should be good fun. Should be awesome. If you enjoy this video, guys, please hit that like button and subscribe. It's free to you and really helps the channel out. Let's dive right in. All right, Vulcan. What division are we... What, well, what faction? Let's start with that. What faction are we playing? Uh, I, I, I want to be probably a Soviet division. That okay. would make it easiest, right? Uh, if you say so. It's going to make it easiest for me to win. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I was thinking 44th would be an interesting. Oh, I hate you so much. Yeah, no, that sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, for those wondering, this is an extremely strong division, very strong in 1v1, probably easily A tier. If not, I mean, I would consider S tier. I don't think it's in a lot of people's list S tier, but I absolutely fear playing this division. So this is a perfect pick for Vulcan to run me over with. So let's get into this. In we go. So here we are. We're going to call it Vulcans 1v1 God List. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to show me your 1v1 deck if I'm going to get it. Oh, it's only <laughs> fair. No, no, it's only fair. That's, exactly, that's absolutely right. We are, we're, we'll check it out. So next step here, what uh, income are we going with Vulcan? Well, I mean, it has to be Maverick, right? Well, your two choices are really Maverick or Balance. Those those are your... I think Balance would suit me more, to be honest. Yeah, my, my only I'm argument would... I, if you're more of a Balance player, do Balance. Otherwise, I, I think I have 44th built as a Maverick because it is a, a very aggressive... You can be very aggressive with it. But if you're more of a Balance player, it works both ways. Yeah, I think Balanced. Balanced it is. It's fine. Where do you stop now? Now, where do you start building your decks usually? Like, which tab do you jump, dive into first? I generally just do them top to bottom. Do you really? I always start with infantry since they're so necessary. I always like pile into the infantry because I want to make sure I have lots of them. But we'll go for the top here. I like it. Something new. Mix it up for it. All right. So we got yes. motorcycles. We've got the two man teams. We got the four man teams. We've got an eh squad of infantry, and we got snipers. Why'd you call the Kanaya's eh? I could just a rifle squad. Like, I don't see, for at least in 1v1, I, these guys do not perform well enough to use an entire slot on them in the recon tab. Can't you bring three in at phase A at two vet? You can. But yeah. again, they're just like, I mean, they're no strong, they're not really much stronger than an Urzatz troop in squad. Yeah. They have two more men. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, but I think I feel like in one v one, right, more combat capable recon is decent. Obviously, snipers are probably the best. Yeah, I would situation. say. Yeah, in this tab, I, I mean, I think me personally, it literally goes like this. <laughs> I think it's that, and maybe like, actually, maybe it's double vet and a. Maybe it's something like that, like two two cards in a at double vet. Maybe. I know that's what I would do, but I mean, if you like these, I mean, three three at double vet's not bad, I guess. I didn't realize the uh, availability is quite good on these guys. Yep. Uh, let's go with. We'll do a card of snipers in a. Do you want the single? Yeah, that's fine. And then we'll do. You want the fastest? We'll do a card of the Kanaya in B at double vet. Okay. We do have one more one point slot. Me personally, I like to fill them up, but do you want to leave it empty? Yeah, we'll come back to that. Alrighty, off we go. Into that beautiful infantry tab. Standard Soviet infantry. Oh gosh, what's right at the bottom there? Is that the Sapody? Yep, we have the Sapody here. Oh. And just a Tanko Komroti, which does have a sniper, which is cool. You only get three. Well, three is your average. You can get uh, four with the Sapody Komroti here, though. At 20 points. Mm -hmm. Let's go for the tankos first, because they're something that you're always bringing. They're not. Oh, the, the tankos. Oh, tanko sorry, sorry. Rocky, the Wr tankos. Wrong tankos. <laughs> yeah, those guys. <laughs> um, 
with the M2A1? We'll bring them in... No, we'll bring them in B with the M2s. With the M2s, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, let's do Sapri in A. One vet? Yeah, one vet. Oh, uh, for everyone in this in this division, be careful. It autos to Zis 42s, and those are horrendously bad. Do not use those. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you put on the Studebakers. Uh, let's see. I guess just guards, like standard guards. So not the DPs? No. Interesting. S standard guards <clears throat> in a... Single or no vet? That's the you got the guards DPs. So. Oh, I do. I'm sorry. My bad. My bad. My bad. I'm I'm suggesting. I'm su strongly suggesting to you. <laughs> strongly suggesting perhaps the DPs. <laughs> yeah. And bring them in at one bet. One bet. All right. So we have ten units of infantry in A so far. Me personally, in one v one, I like to have eighteen to twenty four infantry in A. That's that's me personally. Yeah, we'd do a second cards of guards. Just put, pop a second one in there. Still the normal ones? Yep. Vulcan, I'm not sure I'm in full support of this. <laughs> <laughs> this whole single, it's the single DP versus the double we'll, DP we'll, problem. Well, we'll put one of the double DP in there as well. Oh, going three. So no leaders in A, is that what you're saying? Uh, no, not necessarily. Okay. I think we add... Um, we add the, another card of the Gavada DP and B. Okay. Ah, these stinking Zis 42s. Everyone watch out. Be careful. It'll get you. And then we'll do a card in phase C. Now, you but do want... I, we'll know that. Yeah, no, I, no, I was going to say, I will insist that you know that this. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't have to put my um, foot down. We'll put, we'll put one card of leaders in phase A. We'll do the GV Camarotti. This one? Yeah. You do get the four here, so that's good. Yep, yeah, you get the you get four, four there. and you get smoke. Yeah, that's definitely a plus. I think that's fine for now. Okay, so back out of here. What do we got? 77. Okay. For balance, for me personally, for balance, I would go deeper, but we do have one more card here that's still reasonably priced that you could later add some more. Yeah, we'll see what we've got left. Into the armor. Uh, I want 1944s nope. in A. One vet. One vet. Okay. Yeah, so you get two of them there. Uh, we'll do 1943s and B. Interesting. Okay. One bet. Yeah, one bet, yeah. And probably do the T34 76s in A with the vet as well. That one bet. Yeah, the vet curve on these guys is not great. Double takes you all the way down to two. That's not, that's not even worth bringing in. Then probably just a card and see if the 1944s with one bet. With one bet. All right. Yeah. Very nice. Lovely, lovely. On to our. Am I doing good so far? What yeah, I mean, <laughs> so for me personally, I, I would probably have a second card of snipers in B. Would probably be something I would have. I, I probably wouldn't be using the, the Razvedka here. Because, again, I just don't find their value just with rifles. The lack of machine gun really makes them, like, lacking. They have no AT. Um, so I would probably just have two cards of snipers here, most likely. Um, Armor-wise, I, I always consider the 43s in A because you can get three at the one vet still. And then that saves your 2,000 meter T-3485s for B and C. Uh, that's just me, though. I mean, this it works both ways. It's not like there's anything wrong. And this gives you the 2,000 meters in phase A, which is probably fine. So the way that I think about the tanks is that a 1944 is pretty much going to destroy anything it bumps into in phase A. Yeah. And then in phase B, that's generally when you're going to be bumping into something a bit heavier, like a panther or something. Yeah. And the APCR on the T-3485 is really useful for dealing with that kind of stuff. Yeah, 100% understandable. My, my only concern with this sort of thing when you're bumping into a Panzer is that 250 meters of range, you're out gunned. You know, that you're out ranged. You don't want to be engaging at that range, though. No, you don't. You don't, but I'm saying <laughs> if, if you get stuck there, <laughs> you know, if you're on a if you're on a Slutsk or something like that, because remember, like when I build these decks, I always think of them for quick play or random or um, ranked. So it's random, you know, so everything I do is in total randomness. So when I build my decks, they're always a little bit more generalist. Do you know what I mean? 
so they're not uh i'm always thinking like what if i'm stuck on this god awful map what am i gonna do <laughs> you know what i mean what's what's gonna solve my problems there um yeah. and i would probably i don't know i'd probably have my second card of sapity and b here and i probably w i would have the tankos in a i'm always an a phase tanko guy uh but that's that's personal preference I think for for the long game, the tankers just get so much value in B. Oh no, it's totally understandable. I just I like in one v one being able to take the initiative early with the tankos in A. They can be very hard to press out early in the game. Yeah, you know, especially when you go up against Axis divisions that have limited CQC infantry to start. These guys can really dominate early in the game. So that's always that's always my thought process. But off we go that's into our cool. support tab. Yeah, so OBs for sure. Our lovely OBs in A. Are we taking them? Yep. Okay, we're gonna we'll find them in Jeeps. Yep. Yep. Need that fast. Vroom vroom vroom. Uh, we will take some SU one five twos. <laughs> you like bring flavors. Bring <laughs> you flavors. gotta take flavors, dude. Flavors, Vulcan. <laughs> Vulcan, you gotta take bring your flavors. flavors. You have your Ognemachiki. You gotta take them. <laughs> They're a Flavors blessing. Suck. They don't suck. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> Not in their 100 mile an hour motorcycles. They don't suck. Oh. All right. That's fine. Five That's fine. Please. Yep, yep. Okay. A phase. Do you want one in A and B or just A? Yeah, one in A and one in B. Yeah. Lovely, lovely. Big booms. We all love those. We, we do need a commander. Uh, which one? Do you prefer? Uh, don't know. Probably one of the M3, like the M3A1, maybe or the M2. I don't know, the M1, the, the normal combat's fine, I guess. Yeah, as well. I, I would take the infantry commander. They're much easier to hide, um, and especially in one v one, you're going to be, you know, you got to try to find places where this can affect the most line possible. Because remember, it's not the tight spaces of multiplayer, you know, the tighter lanes of multiplayer so you need to try to have this guy probably a little closer to the front line than you want him to be able to connect to as many leaders as possible and these guys they will be seen and they will die <laughs> do you want to put in a jeep 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 what do you mean the combat in the jeep uh, oh is he not oh i didn't even notice sorry Oop, there he is all right go fast soviets uh... go fast uh any supply or machine guns here I think we just leave the time and come back to it because okay. I am not sure yet. Alrighty, off we go. AT tab. For sure. One vet or In no a... vet? Uh, probably one vet. Yeah, with this, with I, nine is a little excessive. <laughs> they're not gonna. Yeah, I'm not gonna take that many. No, nah, they're, <laughs> they're they're only really useful in the early game. Yeah, they're not gonna be that useful for. It. And of course, we take them in our super fast bikes. So we got PTRSs. Yeah. Then what of your great variety of AT guns here? Uh, take the 45s. All right. In A. In our Jeeps. And the SC-76s. Oh, my bad. In A as well? Or do you uh, want them in Yeah, D? one vet in All A. Right. There we go. Little radio fun. That's fine. Okay. Over to our anti-air tab. Uh, 25 mils. One vet, A. Yeah. Do you want yeah, them yeah. with some dushkas or not? I just bring them in the M2s, I guess. Okay. In they come. And then card of 37s in B. None or one vet? One vet again. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. And I'm thinking 85s, like maybe one card of 85s in B as well. No vet, I'm assuming, on these? Uh, or do you want one vet? One vet takes them down to two availability, which is quite low. Yeah, but the thing is with these things, they're generally okay at direct fire support as well. Um, we'll go four though. Yeah, we'll go four. Just gonna go with the no vet. Yeah, it gives it a bit of longevity. Anything else? Or do you like your yeah, air? That's fine. Yeah. Lovely. Over to our artillery tab. And now Off we map. get. We get to the discuss. <laughs> no, I I'm just gonna say no. <laughs> no, I'm gonna pass. I don't think this is allowed. <laughs> a or B, or both? Do we, do we want A and well, B? One and A, one and B. Yeah. 
Heck, why don't we just put one in C too? <laughs> <laughs> we don't have enough cards for that. Oh darn, that's a shame. Uh, we'll put a Visivod in B. Uh, where are we? Oh, there we go. In B, and we definitely don't want that. <laughs> that stinking M42. I hate yeah. that. And hmm. Mortars, light artillery, SU seventy sixes. We'll come back to it. Let's just do the air tab yeah. quick. I feel I feel your stress. <laughs> I can feel no, your indecision. No, this is usually how I do it, right? So I go through the deck from top to bottom, and anything that like requires the attention of other like types of units, I will go back to at the end. So like, okay. if I add artillery, then you add. Then supply. I'll have to go back to the support. Yeah, exactly, and add supply. Okay. So. Yeah, that's kind of how I look at it. Uh, what's the payload on the TU2? Uh, this is the two 250 bombs, so not bad. How many did you get in A? A, you get three. And reminder to everyone, do not vet your bombers. <laughs> yeah, very that's, clear about that's this. Fine. Yeah, bring one of them. Okay. I hate these so passionately. <laughs> <laughs> they never die. They, like, literally don't die. Unless you fly them directly over my AA and I have like five pieces of it, it will not die. I guess it's recon, recon P2 meta, huh? So we've got to bring them an A as well. Oh, that's right. I know. We, we both saw, <laughs> we saw the power of recons now. What's the IL-2 at the bottom there? Uh, the rocket or the beautiful HE? <laughs> I was just looking at the, uh, the AT one. Yeah. Um, what about the T2 at the bottom? I think that's a phase this is B the job. This bigger it? one. Yeah. You get definitely lower availability, but you still want them to be. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. All righty. And I'm thinking, yeah, the Yaks would be a good idea. The Yak One Bs. Oh, the Yak One Bs. Wait, these are Yak Threes. Yeah, the one above. One two above. above. Oh, the fighter bomber variant. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. The f uh, we'll bring some of them in B. I'm assuming you want the 100 kilogram bomb instead of the 50, right? Yeah. Okay, there we go. And possibly fighters and A. So we can get three Yak yeah. threes and A. No vet? That's fine. Assuming. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. I'm assuming you're not using this four point card, right? No, no, no. Yeah. I would suggest to everyone, you generally shy away from these four-point cards. They're just a huge commitment. The only time I ever consider it really is in the infantry tab. If I really need infantry in a deck, uh, you know, you have, like, maybe only this many cards here, you know, six. Then the four-point tab might – the four-point card might be necessary. So right now I'm thinking two more cards in the support, one card in the artillery. Okay. Fill that last recon slot. So let's put the second card of snipers in. Okay. All the snipers. Uh, and we do have enough little bikes for that. Yep. Uh, do you want to go artillery go... first so you know if you need supply? Yeah, sure, why not? We'll do... I think I'm going to go SG-76s. Okay. In... And we will have them in A. Oh. No vet, yep. I assume? Yep. No vet, yeah, that's fine. All righty. And then we'll do support, we'll do supply in B. That's what I always do. Oh, oh no, that's delay. There we go. And finally, <laughs> no, I, uh, no, this is this is legitimate. There, yeah, yeah, there we'll are. These are think. three legitimate options here. Um, I'm I'm always a flamer taker, uh, but I know plenty of people aren't. Uh, these these mortars with the 800 meter range are really quite good if you can micro them well, and yep. machine guns are always useful. Like uh, machine guns are never a bad choice, really, unless it's like a really bad machine gun, and this one's okay. It's average. It's not great. So you're I think we'll take the mortars. All right, yeah. and I think they only have the jeeps at this point. All right, Vulcan, let's look at your god list. How does it feel to you? Are you getting the vibes? I think we'll change one more card of Gavardi A to Gavardi DP. Uh, do we have any more? No, we only have or three. Do we, we do not have any more. Uh, all right, let's switch one for the face C. Then we'll do normal Gavardi and C, and then Gavardi DP and A. Okay, on that single vet, and then we need this guy over here. Unvetted, thank God, in those two. Let me make sure I didn't accidentally give you a horrible transport. We don't want to do that. Tankos have to come in M2. So, yep, so we got the right transports. Back out. I will say, 
I will say I do hate that they don't have this view in Warno. <laughs> I, I I cannot True. stand it. I really it drives me absolutely insane. Why can't they add this view in Warno? Oh my god. Maybe they will. I hope they do because I hate the way you have to click through stuff in Warno. Like you can't see the deck like in a general sense or like manipulate it the way you can in here. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know, it just yeah. bothers me. So, all right, so we have Vulcan's list here. Saving up. Oh, I'm feeling it. This is going to be fun. What do you think about it? It's definitely different than... I, it's not like way off of 1v1. It, it's not like way out of, of line. I could totally see a 1v1 player building it this way. Um, I do think you're a little heavy in A in terms of support tab and such because you have no chance of calling in three SU-76s and off map, uh, you know, all this support weaponry up here kind of thing along with your tanks, your plentiful you know it's just a lot in a which i understand you need the variety and stuff but i might i don't know what i would do let me think for a hot second uh you bring flamers <laughs> oh i would bring flamers yeah i would bring i and would bring probably flamers. not bring the su-76s um course. i would yeah. probably bring the su-76s later in like b yeah. perhaps just just for the increase like if i'm gonna if i'm gonna call these little craps in you need a lot of them for for them to be effective because you know they don't do a lot of damage so, you know, I, I think having six over the three is more useful. Um, you know, and I would, I mean, 82 mil mortars are a really popular choice in 1v1. Um, so that would definitely be something I would be considering, like, maybe over the 50 mils. Because I just don't, I, I always find I under micro these. Like, I don't use them enough. Um, and I, I tend to use my 82s a little bit more efficiently. Um, this, this scares me personally. Uh... But there's not a lot of choice here anyway. You know, it's not... You don't get a lot to work with. I like Zis 3s because they're, they're... You know, their HE is really useful, actually. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, that and that's just me. I don't... No, this is not... This looks fine to me. A, a little low in infantry for me personally, again, because, like, when I think balance, I think I'm going... I'm going the distance, you know? But, truthfully, 77 is probably plenty. If you talk to most pro players, they will tell you that's plenty. Yeah, I mean, so, I'm I'm generally happy with it. I think the uh, the main thing with the AT thing is obviously you got decent tanks in the 44th, so yeah, you're not so reliant on AT. Yeah, uh, yeah, your your main AT is right here in these three cards of T34 85s. Um, you know, not, and also your your uh, Zenart 44 85 mil that does some good AT work as well. So. Yep fabulous okay so we just gotta port this over we'll cut our video off right here we have in the meantime i'll be showing both in my deck don't worry i'll, sh I'll show all you guys as well uh but <laughs> very cool if you guys enjoyed this please hit that like button and subscribe and we'll see you in the battle soon thanks for watching yeah. see you guys <laughs>